minute? Definitely. Uh, so Menendez and Kirk have introduced a bill to institute sanctions if a, um, mm -hmm. a broader deal isn't reached. Um, the State Department has urged against this um, kind of action. Is it is it the, the position of the State Department that if such a bill were to pass, the deal, interim deal, would be off? Right. Um, let me make a few points on this. Okay. I think this is very important. Uh, state very clearly that we strongly oppose the action taken by these members of Congress. It directly contradicts the administration's work to resolve the concerns about the Iranian nuclear program peacefully. Uh, and on top of that, we believe it's unnecessary. Uh, this legislation does not provide the president and the negotiating team with the flexibility to reach a diplomatic agreement with Iran. And uh, if Congress passes this bill, which is an if at this point, uh, it would be proactively taking an action that would undermine American diplomacy and make a peaceful resolution uh, to this issue less possible. You know, I hear, we hear a lot from the Hill about how they want to resolve this peacefully. Uh, well, we need to see more than words. We need to see actions to back that up. Uh, we don't believe this one does. So you've, you've gone to the Hill many times to tell mm -hmm. them don't do this. Um, specifically, you've said um, even if it's a, a conditioned sanction, absolutely, um, it's going to erode support for international sanctions. Mm -hmm. Given that you've you've told them so many times, please don't do this. It's going to hurt the the chances of anything getting worked out. Is this a bad sign for states' relationship? With well, uh, I'd make a few points. Uh, we've made very clear uh, to members of the Senate and others uh, why we believe uh, this would uh, hurt our negotiating strategy. Um, it appears in this case with the introduction of this legislation that they've chosen to ignore the assessment of our negotiators and also our intelligence community, uh, which has said uh, that additional sanctions uh, would uh, make this harder. I can actually get the exact language if you give me a second to pull it up. Uh, the intelligence community's December 10th, 2013 assessment states that, quote, new sanctions would undermine the prospects for a successful, comprehensive nuclear agreement with Iran. Uh, a couple points on, on the Hill, though. There is... Uh, broad support in Congress for resolving this issue diplomatically. Uh, a number of prominent Democratic and independent senators have publicly expressed their opposition to new sanctions legislation while negotiations are ongoing. Among them, uh, Chairman of the Intelligence Committee, uh, committee excuse me, uh, Dianne Feinstein, Chairman of Armed Services, Carl Levin, Chairman of the Banking Committee, Senator Johnson. Uh, there's a host of others uh, that have publicly come out and said, we need to give our negotiators the best chance to succeed. So I would take notion with the issue that uh, Congress is speaking uh, with one voice uh, on this. Certainly there are many members of Congress who don't believe we should impose new sanctions now. Did you get a heads up that this was coming? Uh, it's certainly been in discussions for weeks. We've been asked about it in here for a while. Um, and we've been working continually with uh, members of Congress uh, on this issue, certainly not just briefings, but discussing with them when they come to us and, and propose or talk about possible new legislation. We've certainly been in discussions uh, with them on this for, for a long time and are going to continue to going forward. So just the last thing, did you uh, do any contingency planning with Iran? Did you reach out to Iran and say this might be happening? Uh, I, I think the Iranians read our press and knew that this might be happening. I'm happy to check on specifics in terms of, of that issue. But I don't think this was probably any secret to anyone. Just one more thing on that. Mm -hmm. um, it's my understanding that these sanctions would only go into effect if they reneged on the deal that they were kind of agreed to already. And I believe Secretary Kerry has already said that he'd be, you know, he'd welcome new sanctions if, in absolutely. fact, the deal a absolutely. was not Secretary to. Kerry has, So what's the difference? There's a big difference. So we have said we should not pass new sanctions legislation of any kind while we are negotiating. Secretary Kerry has been very clear that if this falls apart, we will, go, we will be the first ones back up at Congress asking them to pass new sanctions, and every single person who follows this issue knows Congress could pass new sanctions in 24 hours if they wanted to. You don't need to put in a deferred uh, trigger because you could do it at the end of six months overnight. It would be easy, and the Iranians know that. Okay. So uh, we don't believe that we should take this unnecessary risk of threatening the negotiations for something that could be done overnight if we need to get there eventually. Okay. State Farm recommend that the president veto the bill if it comes to his desk? Uh, I'm not going to get into any of those discussions. I know uh, lots of people have questions about that. We have said very clearly that we strongly oppose this legislation. Uh, I'm just not going to go any further than that. Marie, just Pass to it. play devil's advocate on this, um, why wouldn't this legislation just add more fuel to the fire and motivate Iran to, A, follow through on the agreement that was made in Geneva, and B, make a final agreement? Well, for, for a couple reasons. Uh, we do know that sanctions we've put in place, both through Congress and also with the international community, have gotten us to this point. 
Uh, they were always designed to change the calculus on the Iranian side to get them back to the table and work towards a diplomatic solution. But there's a couple reasons why now isn't the right time. Uh, first, it, it, would inter it would divide the international community. Uh, we went around the world saying we were putting sanctions in place not for the purpose of sanctions per se, but to get us to a diplomatic solution. If we look like to our partners, we weren't telling the truth, we weren't negotiating in good faith, this agreement we have uh, signed on to with the P5 plus 1 that says very clearly no new sanctions while we negotiate, how can we ask other people to stand by agreements we're not ourselves willing to stand by? Also could drive the Iranians to take a harder line. They have their own domestic political situation there. Uh, and if we are seen as being an intransigent party or not sincerely open to negotiations, it could urge their uh, folks to take a harder line. And the worst case scenario would be ending negotiations. So why take the risk with something that doesn't even go into effect, uh, just to prove a point, which if there's even a small chance it could blow up, the best chance we have to resolve this diplomatically, why would you take that chance if you're a member of Congress who's repeatedly said you want to solve this diplomatically? It just defies logic. Josh. That, you, uh, that the agreement that you made, you were, didn't have the authority to make because you didn't have an agreement from Congress? Well, the executive branch certainly makes international agreements. Congress plays a role, as we know, depending on what we're talking about. Um, the question is, did you promise something that you couldn't deliver? Uh, not at all. I mean, look, what we've repeatedly said to Congress, uh, we've gone up there and said why this agreement, this first step agreement, is a good thing. It addresses things Congress has long talked about. It halts the progress of the program. It rolls it back in key areas, and it gives us room to negotiate the diplomatic solution that members of Congress say they want. Uh, so clearly, uh, we believe that they should give the negotiators and the intelligence community, everyone involved in this, uh, uh, listen to their advice. They're the ones on the ground talking to the Iranians. Uh, they're the ones talking to our P5 plus one partners and give them uh, the space to do their jobs. And if it doesn't work, we're happy to let Congress do its job and pass new sanctions as we know they can very quickly. And again, that's why we've worked with Congress on sanctions for the last however many years because they've gotten us to where we are today. So we don't discount that. We just think now is not the time.